Whoa. Got the uh, BMW E46 all running, taxed, insured, MOT, and all that other crap. The insurance was £1,100 or something like that. Still need to get these wheels uh, changed because these are horrible. These ones sort of scratched up. There's one around the other side that's really, really curved. It's a little bit of curved damage here, but nothing too bad. I just really don't like the style of these. And it's going to need new discs pretty soon as well, although it's not listed on any advisory on the MIT, which is a bit strange. I'm not sure if you can hear that, but I certainly can. Fuel pump. The fuel pump's a little bit noisy. It's definitely the fuel pump, it's under the seat somewhere, so I don't know if that's normal or not. I'm going to guess it's not on these. So, I don't know. Anyway. It does run nice, there's not been any other problems, so that's all good. Um, I picked up this Carrera Vulcan earlier, which you'll see another video on. Um, as you can see, I need to get a bike rack, because I've completely had to disassemble the bike down to the forks, headset had to all come apart, and everything else in order to fit it in here. And uh, yeah, this is the Carrera Vulcan, not Vulcan, sorry, this is the Carrera Vendetta, not Vulcan, Vendetta. Um, it's their plus bike with the 2.8 inch tyres on it. And um, yeah, you'll see that in another video. But for now, yeah, I'm just taking it out the back of the car and walking around the car. Rather pleased that it does run. There's a bit more work to do. Belts and other stuff like that are going to need doing. Uh, water pump, more than likely, it's a very common failure mode with these. And um, might as well do the radiator while I'm in there. Although it looks totally fine. Radiator, ro radiator hoses. And of course, the inlet manifold, so we can get a bit more power that way. I need to take it off anyway when we get to the radiator hoses, so I might as well uh, just do that inside. It is just the uh, the business model. So you've got a six disc CD changer or a five disc, I can't remember how many exactly. I just know my friend has stuck Justin Bieber CDs in every single slot for lols. And um, yeah, so. It's got the dash cam thing there to stop chavs from damaging things. I need to put it in the back really. I usually park on Fords, or I need to remember to. Uh, I'll get two dash cams probably, so I've got coverage, coverage of either. Inside, we have electric windows. It's a five speed. The air conditioning does need regassing, but it would have climate control should that be working properly, although it doesn't appear to be. I don't know, maybe I didn't get enough time. I don't really use air conditioning too much in cars anyway, or in the uh, UK, for example. It's not, it doesn't exactly get hot enough that often justify it, just open the window. This uh, thing here, this compartment here, there's like a junk tray there, an armrest that covers the junk tray, I think it's adjustable, I'm not sure how. Another junk tray, it's got ASC, traction control, it's got a miles per gallon gauge, and to be honest, where it says 50, it just should, it should just say, you're a dreamer, man! Because you ain't gonna get 50 miles per gallon out of this thing very easily. Um, unless you're really going slow. I mean, normally I get around sort of 16, so, yeah. <laughs> it's a 2.5 litre straight six, or at least it was. It's now running a three litre, judging by engine codes and stuff, because I believe this was an ex-cop car and they uh, obviously broke the other one, probably hit the uh, oil pan or something like that on a kerb. There is corresponding light scratch marks underneath the car that would add up to that as well. And they've replaced the engine, just, you know, police, taxpayers' money, who cares. And that concludes this video of the uh, E46.